The types of grapes that grow well in this region have names that you might not be familiar with, like Cab Franc and Chardonnay. The grapes that grow well here are hybrids, and that means that they display the aroma and flavors of the European vinifera, along with the hardiness and disease resistance of Native American varieties. Missouri has a very diverse environment, you know, from north to south, east to west. So what really makes it such a great uh, state for wine production? For wine production, the main thing that you want is to be able to grow grapes that match the soil types and the micro and macro climates that you have. And so we traditionally haven't been able to grow vinifera here, but we have found grapes that grow well here and produce quality wines. So it's about matching the type of grapes to the soils and the environment, and that's the key to it. They were trying to grow grapes along the eastern seaboard way back at the very earliest settlement. Those vines quickly failed because they weren't adapted to this climate, the cold winters and natural pests that they didn't know about at the time. But they started immediately trying some of the native grapes and crossing those. You know, indigenous varieties were adapted to this climate and soil. So that started on the East Coast and it came back here with the settlement of Herman. The grapes that consumers know that people know are called vinifera. Vinifera is the family of grapes out of Europe. Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grow in Burgundy in France. Riesling grows in Germany. Cabernet Sauvignon grows in Bordeaux in France. These are places where the, the grapes have grown hundreds if not thousands of years and they know what grows everywhere. When the Europeans started exploring, you know, on the other side of the, the flat earth, they were, they were trying to find these other places, there was no wine culture, there was, there was really no, no grapes other than wild grapes, wild grapes that had, had developed over the, over the centuries. And as the population moved, such as Missouri, settled by a lot of German immigrants, they wanted to have a wine culture. European grapes didn't grow. European grapes grow in a continental climate, and there's nothing continental climate about Missouri. We're too hot, too cold, too wet, too erratic, and that's at least three too many twos. So that, that it's not something that, that is friendly for the European varieties. So we had to find grapes that would grow in our climate and soil, our terroir. So we found these hybrids that were developed mostly in Europe are grapes that have parentage from American grape varieties and parentage from European grape varieties. So by, by those two, you're getting some of the elegance and style of the European varieties bit more the, the winter hardiness and, and sturdiness and disease resistance of American varieties. So we grow hybrids. And hybrids, there's hundreds if not thousands of these, these hybrids. During this time, people were certainly trying to grow the grapevines that they brought with them, but it was very difficult to get those grapevines to grow. So people like George Hessman were involved in, in making what we today call hybrids, but that's essentially to take a grapevine that is native here and that is therefore impervious to some of the, or at least resistant to some of the, the problems that we have here, either mildew or, or phylloxera or bugs like that and to crossbreed those two different species to make something that is more likely to survive. So a bunch of great vines pop up that maybe we don't see much anymore. I don't think people are drinking a lot of Martha, not a lot of Herbemont being grown and, and consumed these days, but it worked for a time. And, and um, we've just gotten better at making those hybrids, I think, in the 20th century. So people continue to breed grapes to try to find just the right grape to grow here. Some of the grapes that, that grow, like Saval Blanc and Vidal Blanc and, and Vignol and Chambersin, I think at this point are, are proven to be incredibly successful throughout the Midwest, uh, not just in Missouri, but particularly here.